Uh, hello, I'm Kamil. I am a developer and founder of Monitin.ai. It's a simple tool that allows you to monitor any website changes and automate human-like actions. Think of it as an AI agent that keeps an eye on important pages for you so you can focus on something else. It's free to use, so go ahead and I hope you will love it. The example you are seeing is a price monitor for gaming laptops. The robot periodically checks the website and if it detects a change based on your configuration, the system sends a notification along with a short summary generated by the LLM. In this case, the price dropped below 2000, so I got an email. Let me quickly show you how to set up a task like that and a few extra things you can do with Monitor AI. From your dashboard, simply click New Task, Paste New URL, and set up what would you like to monitor. There are different modes available, Visual, Element, Text, and HTML. We will stick with the default one for now. Let's select the area we want the robot to focus on, and that will be it. I would receive a notification whenever something changed in that section based on the Visual Diff algorithm. In this case though, I will enhance the setup with a prompt as I only want to be notified if the price drops below 2000 as I don't really care about other changes in this section. So I will enable notification, type in my prompt, and that's it. I will only get a notification when that specific condition is met. And that's the result I showed you before. The examples were prepared ahead of time for the demo purposes, but if you are still watching, I want to take advantage of the moment and show you other bits. Sometimes you might want to extract data and export it as a spreadsheet for later use. That's also possible with Monity AI. So you can enable AI data extraction, type a prompt, we will try to get a product list with names, URLs, operating system, why not, and images. We're gonna reload a preview and there you go. We got our data as expected. Another cool and powerful feature is AI Actions. Let's go to monitoring.ai, navigate to contact page, and fill out a form with the dummy data. For example, name, uh, James Bond, email jamesbond at gmail.com, and message, why didn't I use this tool before? We won't submit the form as we don't want to spam ourselves. As always, AI will perform as well as the prompt you provide, and you can experiment with different prompts if the agent does not behave as expected. Alternatively, instead of using AI actions, you can set up interactions manually in the automation stack. There are several types of automations available, clicking buttons, filling out forms, including login forms for password protected pages, or even injecting your own CSS or JavaScript. The sky is the limit here if you have some technical knowledge. Okay, now let's talk about different modes. We've already covered the visual mode. The next one is element mode. It also shows a screenshot preview, but with bounding boxes, so you can select actual page elements to monitor. Then there's text mode, if you want to focus only on the text, for example, tracking specific keywords. We are going to monitor the booking.com keyword. Save the task. The new paragraph has been added to the website, so let's find our demo. And that will display now a slightly different preview UI, where you can see the added keywords on the right-hand side, highlighted in screenshots as well as the web page preview mode. This is great if you only need to track text changes rather than visual aspects of the website. And finally, there is HTML mode for those who want to track raw HTML. If any HTML changes are detected, you will get a notification and can preview differences in a user-friendly way. This is especially useful if you, for instance, work at SEO agency and want to monitor meta tags, or if you want to ensure that specific web page isn't affected by developer changes. Just choose this mode and save the page. These are the most important features, but there is much more including advanced scheduling. If you choose the business plan, you will also get access to workspaces, user management for granular access control, and higher task frequencies. So yeah, that's it from my side. We are actively working on more exciting features, so make sure you follow us on social media. Give a try, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me.